Welcome to the ACBC Winners Orientation Session. The contest is team-based, three members in each team. Each contest is five hours. You should follow the instructions and guidance we will mention. And of course, be on time at the time of the contest. The contest is not a social event. This means that you shouldn't communicate with any other team. You are only allowed to communicate with team members of your own team. Any cheating attempts detected will lead to disqualification for the team or teams involved in this cheating attempt. The submissions are only via PC squared system. Non-accepted solutions lead to plus 20 penalty points. The penalty is only added when the problem is accepted. That means if you had many submissions in one problem and you didn't get this problem accepted, nothing will be added. But once you get this problem accepted, if you made any wrong answers in that problem, they will be added as penalty. Only the first accepted solution in each problem is considered. So if you got any problem accepted, you don't need to submit any other solution for that problem. Teams with more accepted problems will take higher rank. And in case of ties, teams with less penalty will take higher rank. And if ties still exist, the team whose last accepted problem was earlier will be higher. And each problem has a unique balloon color. You should read all problems carefully. Also, you should read all clarifications carefully. Input for all problems are from file. And the file name is specified in the statement. The output for all problems is standard output. In some problems, there may be large input and output, so you should use fast input and output. You mustn't use any network or threading scrolls. Any usage of these scrolls will lead to disqualification. If you are using Java, you shouldn't use packages. Also make sure that the class name equals the file name if you are using Java. And the file name should only consist of letters and deletes. No special characters, no spaces. When you receive the contest link and open it, you will find a place for the username and password, which you will receive via email. When you enter the username and password and login, you will be directed to the main page, which is the runs, where you can see all the runs you have made. In this tab, you can select Submit Problem, and another window will pop up. It will contain the problem selection, the language selection, and the file selection, the main file selection. So you should select the problem, which language are you using, C++, C, Python, or Java, and then the main file, which is the source code. It shouldn't be an image or the project file, it should be the source code file. So once you make all selections, it will be something like this, and then you can click Submit. Then the submission will appear in once, but it's not judged yet. Once it's judged, Another window will pop up saying that this solution had this judgment. It can be yes, compile error, time limit, and so on. And of course, you can see all the other submissions you made in the tab runs. Also, you can send clarifications to ask about any problem. So in the clarification tab, you also can see all the clarification you sent and submit another clarification. So you click on new clarification, then another window will pop up. So you select the problem and then type your question, and then select Submit. Then you will see all your questions, the answered and pending ones. Once a question is answered, another window will pop up with the response. And of course, you can see all the questions you ask, or the global announcement that is made in the contest, in the clarifications tab also. Also make sure that you are reading the input from file. You are not reading it from the standard input. You are not reading the input from incorrect files. And make sure you are printing the output to standard output. You are not redirecting the output to a file or something like this. All these will be considered wrong answers. Also make sure if you are using Java that the class name equals the file name. And you are not using packages. Any of these will be also considered wrong answer. Wrong answers include the runtime error, the time limit exceeded, the wrong answers themselves. And also compile errors don't add any penalty points. Make sure to check your emails and the competition social media to be up to date with the news.
good luck.